Hi, my name is Matt Beck. This video is going to focus on tacking. My three key points for the tack are speed is your friend, flat boat into the manoeuvre, and move your body quickly. Let's look at that in some more detail. First, let's look at the angle we're tacking through. Take a look at this footage from above and notice how sharp the turn is. In the driving video, we saw the turn was slow and smooth, whereas here, we can see it is a very fast turn. The reason tacks are more difficult is because you have to do the same amount of work in a much shorter period of time, so your timing has to be a lot more precise. Whilst we're looking at the footage from above, notice the angle on the exit of the tack. It is slightly more of a reach angle to build speed out of the manoeuvre so that the boat stays on the foils. Now let's break the tack down from outside the boat. Before we attempt the tack, we make sure the boat is going fast, the body weight, rig and windward heel are all comfortably balanced. The first half of the tack has a gradual smooth turn up to wind. After head to wind, the turn becomes much more aggressive. When you start turning, keep your body weight on the wing bar. If you move your body inboard at this point, the boat will tip over to leeward. As you're turning up, squeeze the main sheet in. At the same time, take your back foot out of the toe strap and extend it towards the center line of the boat. The boat will flatten off as you approach head to wind. Now comes the tricky part. You need to move your body all the way across the boat very quickly whilst also steering much harder. You need to trust that the boat will steer through a big enough angle that the wind will catch you on the new side without tipping into windward. As you move and push the tiller hard, it is critical that the boat is flat. Too much windward heel and you will bury the bow. Too much leeward heel and the new windward wing will catch on the water and kill your speed. When you cross the boat, aim to land on your knees towards the front corner of the wing. This ensures your weight is over the larger main foil. Turn your body to sit on your bum and put your back foot under the toe strap. If you have moved far enough outboard, you will find your back foot naturally finds the toe strap as you turn. Next, change your hands. It is okay to let go of the tiller for a moment. The elastic over the tiller will keep it centralized. Once the boat is foiling, trim in the sail, bring on the windward heel and find your VMG angle. As we said earlier, the X angle is more of a reaching angle, so it is really important to ease the main sheet so that the sail is correctly trimmed. If you don't ease enough, the boat will heel to leeward and will struggle to foil. Let's watch that again in full speed. Now, let's take a look at the onboard camera. Notice how far the tiller moves in the first half of the tack. It just about reaches the toe straps, whereas in the second half of the tack, it goes hard over and reaches a Z on the wasp logo. Let's go back through that step by step. Step one, make sure you're going fast. Step two, start to make the turn, squeeze in the main sheet and take your back foot out of the toe strap. Step three, just before head to wind and with a flat boat, steer hard and shift your weight to the new wing. Step four, ease the main sheet. Step five, move to a seated position and swap your hands. Step six, once the boat is fully foiling, trim in the sail and find your VMG angle and that's you done. That's it for this tacking video. Best of luck with your tacks and watch out for more videos in this series.